Hey Power Users, today we will be looking at text input and how to have specific saved format in our text input. This is not so easy topic as it should look like. So basically what we want to do is to have this basic text input we have, like this, change to input like this. So it will have commas, it will have dots, it will have even our currency abbreviation, it will have everything you need. And what I saw in many of your cases is, is that you create the label, the label which is storing this text input value. This is, well, it's if you need the label, it's, it's a, an okay solution for you. But why we should use just another control to control this? We just should be keeping to this the first text input format. If you want, we we'll take this basic text input. Firstly, let's go with the number. Let's we have only the number format here. We can only select numbers. We want this text default property because after we will finish the typing the default property will keep what we type and this default property should keep the value of this text why the value because we are currently using the text i know it's constrained uh, to the numbers but in the end after you finish typing your numbers, you are in the text format. So you have to store this as a value. And if you're using the default, we want to use the text file, text input five dot text. Let's see what happens if we try to use this, this function, what will happen? We have a, an error, and if you hover over it, the error is referencing to the circular reference. Of course it is, because after we are finishing typing, we have the default property of our text input text, which is text input default as well. So it will try to change the value over and over again, not once like you think it should do it over and over again. So this will tr trigger a circular reference. So what many people do is they're just going to to the label and do the text function here, enter this, and as you can see, if we, if we type something, it's also with the label. Let's go with the label for a moment. We will get back to this input, how to format it later, but you want to know to now now we want to display the commas and the and the dots in your number. So to do this, we have to change this to the text again. And after the value, we'll present it with the format text. In the format, we will just use the any sign and we'll just cover it with the format we would like to have. So in this format, it's already changed. As you can see, we have three digits. After each three digits, we have the comma separator. And uh, at the end, we have dot separator plus also the, the two zeros uh, for the scope part of this. So if we change it, we will add the zeros. As you can see, we will, the label is, is updating. If we use another separator here, nothing will happen. There will be no updates. So this is just securing the 
the, the comma uh, part of this separator. So we have this in another label, but most, most of the times, why should we need another label? I think it's, it's not needed. Instead, we will just use another variable. In default property, we will set the var temporary text int. You can set an in a new one. And what I want to do is to grab this value from the on change property. So here will be update context. This will create this variable. And what I want, want it to have, text input. Five text. Sorry, my German keyboard is, is failing. I have text input five. Also, let's grab this function we have already here. Let's go to, to the on change. Let's paste this and see what's happened. Now, as you can see, we have our commas, our dots. The circular reference problem is gone entirely. We have another uh, context variable to keep. This is the downside of this mechanism. But also, we are already correct. Uh, for, uh, we have already a correct format. So this is a plus. And we want to add also the euro at the end. So let's go with euro here. This could be stored, of course, in, in another variable. The, situation I can imagine is that you have your local currency, so you can grab this local currency abbreviation, this, this prefix, and put it in variable, and in here you will just you will just use this variable in the text to store your proper uh, your proper currency. But if we want, want don't want to do this, we'll just use the euro here. So what happens if we do it now? Do you think it will work? Let's see. Boom, the input is gone. What happened? There is no error message. There is no error message anywhere, but the input is gone. And if we will remove it, write something, boom, it's, it's working. You already figured it out? We have in our text input property, the format property, and the format property is set to a number. This is wrong because if I have only a number, then I cannot uh, use the text in there. I cannot use the euro. That's why it's failing. So I have two options here. Uh, in, in the format text input, I use the option, the the I will trust you user option, and I just change the format to text. That's why. That's why. Let's me also change this to to euro again. Oh, let's check it. Boom! It's working. If you don't want this to happen, you can just move your. Euro part here, just change the number, and you can use the, the label. Just for your Euro. Or you can set, of course, the, the properties, uh, the variable to set any, any currency you want based on your current user settings. So this will work like here. We want also to change this to 
text alignment right. And this will be your final text input. So this is how we work with this text input. Oh, oh one more thing I can show you as well. Uh, there is also a, a third argument in here, which is basically a language. So if you have If you have uh, users with uh, working with different language and you want to set the currency for their language, you can use this option, this dollar sign. And if you use this dollar sign, it will present you with the currency of the of the user. My currency is US dollar, so I present it with the dollar sign. But if you use it in the eurozone, you will be presented with euro. That's all. I, I hope that you learned something from this, that it was helpful. And if you do, you can leave the sub like, you know, the drill. And wherever you are, whoever you are, I hope you're fine. And see you today, tomorrow. Ignipukowski out.